Hey everyone, it's McPage here, and welcome back to Lil Guardsman. In the last video, I believe we completed day three. We welcomed both of the royal highnesses. For all your hard oh hitting, high octane, oh extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the uh, sprawl. Okay. Now here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Gavin. Rhonda and Pig. Gavin Bout Goblin oh, Ball. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of mm -hmm. last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Pig, mm -hmm. you don't want to get me started on that. Uh-oh. But I do. First, the big news. I love that Lil they wakes up to the radio the instead of, like... Goblin Oh god, what's the name? After months of in Instead of like music or anything? The most popular name as voted by the sprawl appears to Better be not be exciting sports. The exciting oh Coliseum my god. I like it. I don't. I hate it. Exactly. We're split down the middle. That's Let us know what you think stupid. by calling it's the station at 555 21. We interrupt this broadcast uh, to bring you an urgent announcement. I wanted to tell them my opinion. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and mm -hmm. sovereign successor to the throne, mm -hmm. has been reported missing <gasps> early this morning. Oh my god. In the wake of her mysterious I'm not disappearance, off the, radio. the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. Oh my god. All other radio programs have been cancelled until further notice. Oh. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. The princess is missing. I wish I knew what she looked like. Where could she be? What do we have? We have butter knives, we have a metal, a bag of heads, and my cinnamon roll. I can't believe the princess Whoa, is missing. In a rush. How is she missing? Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Uh, your job. Sorry, sir, can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute, Dad? <laughs> What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or yeah, right? whoever. Do you have the day off? That's suspicious. I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, yeah. Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double <laughs> duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. She probably does, if we're being what are you honest. Doing here? It's true. I missed you. I guess I just wanted to come check in. Oh. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering that's for you cute. at work. Uh, it's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? I'm doing fine. I don't know about Lil. Joke about hair loss. It's been tough. Um, I, I'm okay. Yeah, it hasn't been too tough. Really? Are you sure? Because I could... I'm no, that's fine, okay. I think father. I got it. Thank Even you, the though. Times when you... Yeah, huh? those parts too. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're just saying okay. all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. Lil, don't right, downgrade right, your father's feelings. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not Instead long, of missing? I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Oh my god. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. <laughs> we are so alike in so many ways. I bet... So long. A human. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. Kidnapped her. If not, you, like, Dad. she just ran away, you know? Because she saw the two... Aww. She saw the two options. And was like, mm, no thank you. And ran away. I would too, honestly. After seeing Sir P Phineas Pomp. Hi, Striker. Attention. Uh, um. Hup. Oh, God. Is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? Oh, Lil. Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. Not a Randy. Thank God. <laughs> I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. <gasps> Ooh. Does that With mean we can send people to jail now? You and me, the council's increased paranoia. The jail lever has been reinstated. Yes. You can get back in your chair now. Yes. I can throw people in jail. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get True. a pay raise? Yeah, striker. That's hilarious. Seriously funny yep, stuff. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, no, yes, ma but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. But Any questions? But how do I know if they're a criminal threat? How will I figure out who to deny yeah. and who to jail? Yeah. Let's use a real-life example. Someone you've seen already. 
Would it be, uh, Cindy? Yep. This criminal is best known for burning down orphanages full oh my of god. sleeping children. Oh god. What do you do? Jail. Murder. Jail. Good work, soldier. Thank you. Just denying her would not protect the surrounding villages. What? And what's to stop her from going to the next gate and getting lucky with a guard like Randy? <laughs> Leave Randy alone. <laughs> What happens if I do jail him? Does like a That's giant to jail cell that. just come hey, down from the sky? No. Very yes, good. personal. You've received your briefing. Now do your duty. I should have clicked yes, personal. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Due to the sudden and unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean, questioned. And don't be afraid to use the delicious new jail lever. The city's morale has hit an all-time low today. Anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. We are instituting a severe cutback of non-human entrance to the sprawl. Second-hand intelligence suggests that a goblin was behind the princess's disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket no goblins allowed policy this week. In fact, I'll pay 12 gold for every goblin I see in the dungeon by the end of your shift. Oh no. If I see Seamus again, I can't throw him in. I can't throw him in the dungeon. Be on the lookout for would-be heroes and vigilantes wanting to offer their assistance. They have their own plan to ensure the princess is returned. This princess thing, people are going nuts. Have you heard about the crazy no goblins allowed policy? Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. At least it'll bug Councilwoman Ash, Malcolm. Oh boy. If I, if I see Seamus again. Ooh. Oh, that's right. I need to go to the back of the, um, the tavern for, uh, what was it called? That, that one that he dropped. Um, oh, I can put two on the metal detector. Let's put one real, one fake. Just in case I need to use it twice. I don't think I would need to, but you never know. Okay. Please don't be Seamus. Hello? Hello there. My oh name my god. My face. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon. Why are you just on the pixely? Other side of the scroll. And sound like... Pixely. I'm coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands. Okay. From land that was left for me by my great goblin uncle in his will. Was his name Goblin? His dying wish was that I restore the family today. farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Did you say your name was Budface? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill a characters. <laughs> Oh no. One, or even Quincy Hart. But you cannot choose your own name, two, three, am I right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So true. I only have four people today. That's kind of weird. Okay. Where's your crops? In new markets, the old farm has not been doing too well. I love this late. music. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. Okay. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. That that's not... no. There's no way you could be a disappointment to your great goblin uncle. It's so not true. Not with a name like Buttface. Oh my god, Lil. Sadly, he never knew my name. He died before it was inputted by an unknowable entity. <laughs> Awkward pause. But just look at this rice I grew. Wow. It, it looks like rice, alright. No, no, you take it. I really? Insist. No one would buy it from me anyway. Oh, okay. I'll take your rice, I guess. You got a bag of low-quality rice. Nice. Okay, should I, like, call Stryker or Ash about this? I'm gonna call Stryker because he doesn't have anything on him unless I, like, x-ray him for anything on his person. I'm gonna deny him. He's a farmer? Okay, so let him through. What's the big deal? He's a goblin. Oh, he's a goblin. Yes. Then don't let him through. Yeah. Well, but... Read the writ, right? Yes. I swear That's we why I called you. you have access to a phone. Uh. But I don't want to jail the man. Can I just deny him? Do I have to jail him? Do I have to jail every single goblin? Uh. Okay, okay, but face. Farming, I often fill my time talking and giving gifts to the townsfolk and other strangers oh, I meet. Oh no. Like I did with you on the bag of rice. Okay. This helps me gain favor and friendships with the eventual goal of falling in love and getting married. I have not uh, been successful at it uh, yet. Okay, okay. I do not think anyone likes the gifts I have given them. Well, if it's just a bag of rice, probably... 
not. I think rice normally comes after you found the bride. It's true. Also, I'm 12, you weirdo. I did not expect you to be my bride, just my friend. Uh, <laughs> That's a no for that, too. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Um, I'm also really sorry about this, but you gotta go to jail. Goblins, am I right? Also, you're not from this world because you're pixelated, question mark? Sorry. Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let goblins in today, so I'm gonna have to throw you in jail. Sorry. Is the jail on the other side of this gate? Uh, yes. technically, yes. Then technically you are letting me inside. Oh my god. No, I'm technically... Stop poking holes in the logic. That's what I'm saying. Go to jail. Are you seriously throwing me in jail? Yes, I am. Hasta la vista, buttface. Adios. Goodbye. You received 12 gold for sending a goblin to prison. Nice. Can use it to bet more. You were pretty callous and heartless sending him to the dungeon, but Councilwoman Ash was quite insistent, so good job. I know. I know. I didn't want to. I, I really didn't want to. <clears throat> Hello? Magic lovers of the Hello? Sprawl. Please put your hands together for the one, um, the only, the Edward, the Great Magician! Alakazoo? Um, Alakazee? Is it the Edward the Great, or is it just Edward the Great? Whoa! And I appear! Thank you! Thank you! Wow, that was so wait good. Wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. It's oh, not? Wait, there's one! Excuse me! Excuse you? Are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? No and no. Does I'm this look like a, a birthday party? I'm sitting in a all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. No. Then I'm in the right spot. I can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. That would explain why you're squinting. Uh, okay. What's so, up? So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, I and just... prepare to be amazed by me, oh my the God. Edward the Great. Okay, so it is the Edward the Great. I just told you I'm not Wait, Becky. but I'm not. Actually, I want to see where this is going. Oh my God, Lil. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Um, six. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? Yes. It was. That's incredible. No, Becky. It's the great. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's talk to him again, and then we'll call Malcolm. This has been great, Eddie, but I gotta come clean. I'm not Becky Schnauzenhoder or, or whatever. Schnauzenhoder? My name is Lil, and this is a guard shed, and you haven't even made it into the city yet. It's so true. What? Oh, rats. Come on, the Edward. Get it together. This is all because I couldn't see where I was trying to get to. Now I'm going to be super late for this kid's party. That's okay. It's it's part of the magic. Tease. I don't think Becky would mind if you showed up late. Or not at all. Ouch, But Lil. then I won't get my 40 gold and slice of birthday cake. Hmm, touche. Okay, let's call Malcolm. Well, who wrote the thing about the entertainers? I want to call... Well, hang on. I'm not going to call anyone. I'm going to scan this guy. We'll use a real one because I still have the x-ray. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, the cards. I'm surprised nothing was under your hat. Ah, so oh, you're your interested rings. in the metal rings. Oh. They're a part of the great linking and unlinking rings illusion. Okay. I'd show you the trick, but I can't seem to get them off my belt. Okay. I guess you can come on in. Boost Becky and other citizens' morales. Goodbye to Edward the Great. I hope you don't Ever suck at the birthday I party. Ever since I the bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. <laughs> what? And you're making this dream come true for me. Anytime, the Edward. Now, I just need to figure out how to get there without being able to read the street signs. Ask. Alakazoo, Alakazee, I'm going to be very late. That's okay, buddy. Are you going to poof out it? No, I thought it was going to poof out of here, too. A two. This magician had a booking to get to, and the sprawl needs joy at a time like this, but since he didn't have his glasses, he did do a very good job providing that joy. Well, I don't know where this man's glasses are. I don't have glasses to give. At least I don't think. Oh. Uh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. I would like to enter. I, I, I oui. would like to enter uh -huh. the scroll, uh -huh. please. 
Okay. And you are... Why? Magnus the Magnificent! Magnus? Renowned member of the Magies Guild! Magies. Surely you have heard of me! I have. I've 100% heard of you, Magnus. What business do you have in town today, Magnus? What's what's happening library, today, buddy? There is an incantation in Sir uh huh? Bartholomew Inglebrook. <laughs> Bartholomew Inglebrook's third treatise on the um uh huh lunar implications. Uh huh. Lunar implications for plant magic that becomes legible but twice a year. Uh -huh. I must see it with my own eyes. Uh huh. I'm gonna tease you this on this one. thing you're trying to do is not working. It's not working, and also, why do you want to read a random book? I'm sure I don't know what Can you're you talking magic? about. Can you do magic? Okay. Sure, you don't, buddy. <laughs> well, would you look at that. What's what's this you got here, down there, with the ears? Huh? What's What's happening here? Magnus. Oh, why aren't you, you guys, wearing clothes? We're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. Oh. What is that? What do you mean? mean? Yeah. The princess goes missing, and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? That's true. What's that about? Uh, racism? Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. Oh, find me the goblin that kidnapped him. Oh, I can talk to one of you. Uh, let's talk to you, because you're clearly Needless the brains. Say, goblins are getting some especially unfair treatment all of a sudden, and there's this group called the Goblin Liberation Army that's putting down the Goblin in the Liberation city. Army. Don't tell her, we'll get in trouble. That's okay, I won't tell it's anyone. It's okay, Gary. Look, Gary. kid, if you let us in, I'll give you the address and the password so you can come see for yourself tonight. Why would you tell a guard that? I don't know if I trust this. A secret password for a liberation army? What if I don't believe exactly. you? Exactly. Why would you, you tell me? me? We put our asses on the line telling you all that I can't believe these humans. Well, why would you tell me? That's the thing. Julian, calm down. Here, come to the meeting. It'll really open your eyes to what's going on. Just let us in and you can see for yourself. Listen, I was only told to let in one. At least one. You guys are two? You know what? Why not? I will pay the consequences of my actions later. Alright guys, I'll let you come uh -oh. in. Uh-oh. Just don't go spreading it around. I could get in a lot of trouble for this. It's so true. Hey, that's really cool of you. Thank you. You're a friend to us non-humans. I try. If you want, come to the meeting at GLA headquarters. It'll really open your eyes to what's going on around here. Where is the headquarters? Maybe oh. I will. Oh. I will. I want to. I want to. Okay, bye. Be safe. Don't go kidnapping any princesses. Yeah, oh. You ignored the writ by admitting two goblins in one turn, but on the other hand, you unlocked a new location. I wonder if I just kept questioning them instead of doing the x-ray, if they would have given me the address anyways. Probably not though, right? Hello. Salutations to you, nice little fish sister pipe. of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. I can see that. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know. But it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Okay, why are you going Where why are you, you going to sprawl? Yeah. You really want to know? Yes. Uh yes. Oh, I've been around for a spell, always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the great desert in the south of Marvog, along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Caladar and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. Fireball Canyon. I've wandered through all of these many, many times. But for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Okay. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. Very true. Uh, very true. You seem like a very easygoing dude. 
So true. Well, my little dudette, life's been pretty <laughs> good to me. Not as if someone peed on my rug. Is that huh? a common expression? Huh? It is where I come from. Okay. I guess. Um, I'll talk Word to you again. The street is Princess Desdemona has disappeared. It's true. Some say kidnapped. Some say run away. I bet she run away. Uh, I bet she ran away. I think she ran away. I don't think she was kidnapped. Whatever I bet she ran away. Happen, it has truly bummed me. She out. probably did get kidnapped. <laughs> I've got more to say if you've got the ears to listen. Sure, bud. Let's hear it. Princess Desdemona is the living Why not? legacy of the great peace brought by her late father, King Oswin. Okay. And already the fires of war are being fanned on all sides. I'm just wondering if Princess Desdemona will eventually lead or come to my Do gate. You really think you know? war is on the horizon? Because I haven't seen this woman. I haven't seen a oh, single yes. picture of this woman. But then again, what do I know? Just an old wizard wandering from town to town looking for a little bit of joy to put in my pocket. Okay. But everyone I've met seems so happy. Very true. <laughs> you remind me of a younger version of myself, little sister. Maybe cooler heads will prevail, but history doesn't have many examples of that. I have a feeling There's I can a lot trust of you. To fill the void left by the death of King Oswin. And only because you're just keep your eyes high as all heck. I'm saying. Yes, sir. I don't know if I want to scan him. Or truth spray him. I'm just gonna keep talking to him and After see if anything King happens. Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Really? Three in particular: a young, headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the guard corps, and the court jester. Oh my Although I God. don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. Did those three kidnap the princess? These three have been battling for control of the sprawl for years now. Yes, I know. But well, what about the princess? Yeah, she what has she been doing? Line. Yeah true but at the time she was just a kid now she's grown but i fear that these outside forces are using her as a pawn that would make sense tell me more i've got all the time in the world kid i'm genuinely curious uh okay let's uh, learn about more Back when I knew more ash, about ash she was already bitter jaded and afraid of anything she didn't understand okay a true protectionist, looking to keep everyone in their own little box. That makes sense, honestly. If she had her way, nothing would ever change or grow, and eventually we would all look, dress, and think exactly the same way. That would explain her drinking problems. Oh. Okay. Well, come on in, I suppose. I have no reason to deny you, and I don't think I'm allowed to jail you. Just don't, um, don't piss anyone off. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. Anytime. There it is. I've reached my limit with you. <laughs> right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Adios. All right. That was a good day. Oh, based on his reaction, he seemed fine with your decision. Okay, thank you. I probably didn't do very well today. Hey, what's up? Lil, you forget got your close name. Down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Why? Why? By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona Why? has disappeared, right? Yes. Yes. Good. Any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog the in mucky town, mucks. we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. Makes sense. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? Exactly. I haven't I seen asked my anything. Boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of. You oh. know, that's not important now. Excuse me? Do what you have to do to close I'm up a shop kid. here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Okay. I guess. Can I deny you? Can I jail you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Due to your middling job performance, 2.75, you're paid a mere 10 gold for the shift. Listen, as long as it's not, like, less than one. Okay, him, I could have done a little bit better, and it's probably was, like, getting him through the gate faster or finding his glasses. But I don't have this man's glasses. These guys, I don't know what I could have done differently. Him, we're chill. Pretty short day, which is kind of weird. Though I'm sure a lot of stuff is going to be happening at night. Oh, 
my god. What? Hello? Where is am I? There? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? What is this? Lilith, guardian of the southern gate. Hello? Step forward into the light. Is my name Lilith? Okay. Up. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? I'm so confused. Will, you have been chosen. As employee of the month? Oh my to god. Play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right. It's what? time for Time for so what? You think you can save a princess. <laughs> What? What the hell what is going is on? What is this? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to Do see I one know of these you? lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime. Why would to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Destiny? What? Why do I have to pick? I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky oh, adventurers geez. are. Okay. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Okay. Please welcome Neil Warkiller. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna clap for you, Neil, but yeah. Adventure number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands. Heck of a name, Articulus. Okay. And finally, adventure number three. What is happening you here? This thief from their wanted poster. Thief? Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good. Let's hear it for Does Perry he... Shoutsen. Okay. These are clearly, you know, Striker Ashes and Malcolm's picks for who's I rescuing the princess. But why do happened. I have to decide who's going? Why and can't no, they all the just go? Would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So, so true. Let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm Hi guys. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus, and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees guys. and bite, bite, bite. Guys, uh, what? Now, Lil. What? You're going to get a chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. Okay, I round, guess. You choose the winner of the grand prize. Why? Being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess. What if a she's not even out of this brawl? with death and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. The soup? Ooh. Wow. Mm, He's not even standing on Monty's. his mark. Let's do this. He's not even standing on his mark. Okay. Round one. Oh my god. All right, Lil. What would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? Uh, favorite ice cream, perfect rescue, origin story. Um, perfect rescue. What's your idea of a I, perfect I rescue? I guess. Why do I have to do this? And who would you like to ask? I'm gonna ask this middle guy. I'm gonna ask you, Articulus. It begins with me vaporizing a few low-level lackeys on the type. Uh, then we build to a dramatic face-off with a superior villain. Lightning flashes, mythical beasts are summoned and dispatched, all the fireworks come out. I cast a transfiguration spell, turning our would-be kidnapper into a small cricket. Or a mouse, or anything really. What? It just has to be small, so I can keep it with me as a reminder of my awesome powers. Okay. I wouldn't applaud that. You can ask another adventurer if you like. I'm gonna ask you. Two words. Smoke bombs. Makes everything so much cooler. Okay. Best heists are ones where they don't even realize they are being robbed. Ocean's Eleven style, baby. Ocean's Eleven style. Okay. Can I ask you? No. Okay. That's fine. He was probably just gonna say bash their skulls in and or something anyways. Is... Um... Waylaid by bandits? How do you deal with magic users? You encounter an enemy yeah, why not? party of magic users. One of them casts a level three magic missile spell. Yeah. What do you do? What Lil said. And who's that one for? That one's for the big boy. Neil. Magic users. They fill me with rage. He is and in a that magic user. Rage, I can shrug off any kind of missile they may throw my way. Okay. I rip out the throat of the first, oh so the coward God. cannot warn their coward friends. Before the rest know what has hit them, I have. <laughs> okay. 
I piled the bodies of the dead fools high in the air and burned them as a warning to all others who would dare get in my way. Good lord. Nothing, nothing to say about that? I, I won't. I won't. Does that answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence? I was ready to vow the child with mine. What's a guy gotta do to get picked for a question around here? I got some exciting answers. Okay, well, gentlemen, well, you're not getting to the picked. Format, folks. So, there's a rich tradition yeah. we're preserving here. Please wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. Hello. He or she acts. I just All asked right, you a Neil, question. Calm down now. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike I, Melroy. I just <sighs> asked you a question. I'm so uh -oh. confused. Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. It's am I safe? Ooh. Don't say ooh. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Probably Perry with the smoke bombs. Don't look at me. Or you can try, but I'll be out of here. Smoke bomb. Yeah, exactly. Blood okay, he was supposed to smoke bomb everyone. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't know how or why, because I literally asked him the question, but okay, <laughs> sure, uh -oh. we'll ask Ooh, this man next, I guess. Neil, uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Um, a sparrow? Neil, look at this little fella. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. Uh, I am calm. Okay. Whew. I'm glad you didn't pick anything Hello? larger than a bread box. I'm I know. Not licensed for that. <laughs> Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? I'm, I'm, uh, um, uh. We could have all died. Be that as it may, we still need your help. Oh my god. Okay, let's get it over I'm with. I'm confused and tired, and I have to pee. Can we just get this over with already? I'm picking the mage. I don't like uh -oh. him, but I'm picking the mage. You know what that means. The round, I the game no is over, question mark? Means. I don't know what it means. This is so stupid. You're stupid. Thank you, Malcolm. That sound means it's time for the lightning round. I thought we were done. Oh my god. Okay. Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Um, Articulus. All right, Articulus. Are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Okay. Oh my god. Most impressive. I found Hello? that a little. <laughs> well deduced that I'm an elemental mage, Lil. Thank you. Yep, that wasn't a random lucky guess at all. Totally not. Oh my god. What is happening? What does that mean? Uh-oh, you know what that sound means. I, I don't. Oh, God, not again. I don't. That sound means we are out of time. All right, oh, Lil, Lil. now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose <sighs> to rescue Princess I, Desdemona? The mage, I guess. I don't... Ash. Malcolm. The thieving arts might not be as sexy as a halberd or a fistful of magic missiles, but we have no idea what's befallen the princess. And my guy... He's your guy. Is he now? My adventurer stood up to lightning. Can the others do that? I'd like to see them try. Choose wisely. Choose my adventurer. Okay. Don't overthink this. My hero is by far the strongest and the most experienced in battle. A natural choice <sighs> to save our dear princess. I'm choosing the mage because he's the only logical one because this guy is just fending for himself and this guy has anger issues. So... Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, why not? And other ones. Why not? Of so you think you can save a princess and proud owner of an all you can eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is Home of the Soup. Articulous Yay. Hands, the 
Wow. <laughs> Wonderful child. Well chosen. Thank you. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody. Oh my god. What was that? What what just happened? I thought I was going to a goblin ball match. Okay. And then I had to choose who the heck was gonna rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. And don't even She's get not gonna believe you, Lil. The lightning round. <laughs> She's not gonna you believe you, Lil. You have the most Lil. vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? I'm sorry, Lil. What are you doing here? Anyways, ooh. Anyways, I am way over time because of that. Whatever that was. Um, thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to tune in next time. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and ding that cute little notification bell. Unless you already have, then don't you dare touch it. And I'll see you all in the next video.